What's up? I'm Malachi White, and you're watching GETV. Ruskin's varsity boys basketball team entered the 48th annual William Jewel Classic Tournament 5-2. Ruskin was out to claim his second Jewel Classic Championship since winning the Nelson Division in 1985. Do you feel like you're improving this season? Um, I was on I was on varsity last year as well, so the improvement has been astronomical. Actually, uh, we played it more together as a team. We're uh, we're picking up after each other and not letting one another fall. After defeating Blue Springs and Grandview Christian, Ruskin crushed the undefeated Liberty Blue Jays to win the championship game 52 to 48. How does it feel making history winning a championship game? Good chance. History? Uh, uh, it feels great, you know. All the work that we put in over the off season and over the uh, the course of the season, it, it finally paid off and it finally showed that we're we're doing something different this year. Uh, it feels great because we're showing that we are better than everybody says we are, because they always downsizing us for nothing. Uh, how do you feel before the game? Any nervousness? Nervousness? You might be a little jitters here and there. I'm not going to lie. A couple butterflies in the tummy tummy. But uh, overall, you know, I know my teammates got me, so it's not really nothing for me to be that nervous about. Did you overcome any challenges during the championship game? Um, yeah, uh, early off in the game, they were getting easy points, fast break points, and uh, we just we just adjusted to it and got back on defense, and we was doing we was cool. How does it feel making history winning a championship game? Uh, it felt good that uh, I wouldn't say that we was the first team to do it, but it, we ain't we ain't had a championship game in a long time. So and throughout my 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 high school career, uh, we ain't really won anything. So it felt good. Do you feel like you're improving this season? Yes, I feel like um, I'm improving myself and my teammates are improving. We're all improving together. Did you overcome any challenges during the championship game? Um, yeah, we were down 15 and by halftime. So we had two quarters left and um, we knew we could cut back. So that was probably the biggest one. The boys kicked off their next tournament against Lincoln Prep in the 2020 Summit Girls Shootout at Lee Summit High School. What was the process for coming together and making it happen? Uh, I feel like it was an easy process because we all hooped together before. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing this years through the process, so it was kind of easy. With strong play on defense and offense, the Ruskin Golden Eagles defeated Lincoln Prep 66-56 and Lee Summit 49-48. to How does it feel winning two tournaments? Uh, it feels good. That's a uh, motivation to win the state. Could have been three though, so we know we got some business to take care of. In the final game, Ruskin was up against the Raytown Blue Jays. What was the process for coming together and making it happen? Basically, we just started working hard during practice. We listened to coach to tell us what to do during the games. We worked hard on defense, offense and we just went over film and started watching the teams play. And then we just came together as team chemistry. How does it feel winning two tournaments? Well, it felt wonderful because our bond builds up and that, that gives us more confidence to win every game. Ruskin closed out the Summit Girls shootout 67 to 52 to take home another title. Now that this is your last year of high school, what is your plan for basketball once you graduate? Uh, go to college most definitely. Play basketball there, but still, you know what I'm saying, get to the books, do my work, you know how that is. Stay tuned for another edition of GETV.